Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and our Halal Vegan Palm Free video on emulsions was so popular, I've been asked to make one on surfactants. And again, the hardest part about creating this formula was to find palm free surfactant materials, but I have. So let me show you how it's done. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix my super fatting material with some essential oils and antioxidant. Now I'm doing this so I can create some micelles with the oil materials inside the super fatting material. So it's nice and stable to begin with. And then I'm going to combine this with my other surfactant materials. Now you can get full details of this formula and the suppliers of these materials. Just email us. Uh, there's not a lot of palm free materials that are out there that are also mostly natural. There are some synthetic components in this formula. I couldn't do everything to give you a beautiful formula that is palm free, halal and vegan. I have had to use some naturally derived materials that do have some synthetic processing involved. It was unavoidable, but they are mostly natural and definitely uh, considered mostly natural by consumers looking for greener products. This is also such a mild formula, it can be used on babies as well as adults. So we combine our surfactants first, and then I'm going to add this to my water phase. Now, if you've seen any videos where I show you how we create uh, foaming formulas without the presence of sulfates, you'll see we need to follow this method uh, because we need to have all available water present and the surfactant materials have water as part of their composition. So we need to combine all the water containing materials before we add our viscosity modifier Otherwise, we could end up with a separated gel layer. In fact, that's probably one of the most common questions I get asked when people are making their foaming products. They end up with this separated gum or separated jelly layer, and it's because they've added their gums or polymers at the start of the process before they've combined all the water and surfactant materials together. So this is also why we solubilize the essential oils before we add them to the water as well, and that way it's nice and stable. Now this won't produce a clear product. This is the finished product here that we're gonna be making. It's not clear. Again, my choice of surfactants was quite limited, and on combining the super fatty material, the essential oils, uh, and the other surfactants, it does not make a clear formula, but still beautifully thick and extremely mild beautiful performance, um, so mild you can use it on babies. Now I'm just going to give this um, a small stir just to make sure everything is homogeneously mixed. And then I can combine my xanthan gum, now I am using the Cosphoderm X Soft here, into the propane diol. Again, you can get palm free glycerin, but I'm not using it today just to avoid any confusion. Now, the surfactants I'm using, I am using Coloteric CVS and Sugarnate 160 NC. These are my amphoteric and anionic foaming materials. So again, very mild materials, making a very gentle but effective cleansing end product. Now I've combined my gum in the humectant. I'm going to add this to the surfactant and give it a stir until it thickens up a little. Now I'm just going to add the preservative which I had pre-measured. going to check and adjust the pH and give it another stir. When you bring this pH down you will notice that the xanthan gum starts to thicken significantly and easily. Mm -hmm. 
And here we have our finished product. Now what I've done with this formula is I've kept the ingredients mostly natural. I have had to use some materials that do have some synthetic processing involved, but that's simply because I couldn't get the required performance without using those materials because there weren't natural non-palm alternatives available for me to use. Another thing when you're creating natural and natural based surfactant formulas is essential oils will have a big impact on the viscosity of your product. As you can see, the product I have made today ends up being very viscous. So it's got plenty of viscosity, even though I have used essential oils in this formula, but just be careful about the types and amounts of essential oils you use because they could alter that end viscosity. I've used a really good quality grade of xanthan gum so that the end product isn't stringy or clumpy looking, which would not be aesthetically desirable. Just remember that if you want to formulate palm free in particular, there's not a lot of materials that are available to use to also get great functionality and performance from your product. So I hope you're finding these videos useful and helping you make your selections a lot easier. Make sure you email us for a free copy of this formulation and all supplier and material details. It's too much information to just put on a screen and make sure you get it accurately, but we're happy to provide it for you for free. Just email us and we'll send that out to you along with all of our other free formulations as well. Just remember again, if you are planning to make halal, vegan or palm free products, that you need to be prepared to check paperwork carefully. And if you're going to be creating halal products, you really should be going through the certification process so that the consumer knows they're halal certified. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've made it simple for you because trust me, finding these materials was anything but simple. But now you have them so you can create some great halal, vegan, palm-free foaming formulas as well. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating!